I'm finally saying bye to my pink hair. <gasps> literally the end of an era i've had my pink hair for like five years now it's insane but i was just tired of like redoing it and redoing it even though i would only like redo it like every four months because of the hair dye that i used but yes the end of an era for real so i was like why don't i just bring it along and say bye to my pink hair <laughs> So by all means necessary, I am going to say that I am not a professional. I did go to cosmetology school. However, I did not take my state exam because I realized that that's not what I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to do my own stuff, but I did not want to do it with other people, if that makes sense. So what I'm using today is my favorite bleach of all time. Ever since this bleach came out, that's literally all I would use. And it's the Ion Charcoal Flash. I feel like this one works like that like super fast it worked super fast on my hair so i'm using the 10 level so since i'm taking out the pink and i didn't want to go like super like psh, i am only going to use the 10 volume developer when i would use this one to dye my hair pink i would usually use the 20 but today i'm just using the 10 you're gonna mix it and it's literally just gonna look great like that actually i'm not even doing a tutorial because don't follow my tutorials because i literally just psh, I don't measure, so if your hair falls off because you tried following my tutorial, no. I'm honestly just doing my ends. I'm not going to bleach my whole hair. I'm just trying to get rid of the pink. So from this point forward, my audio got deleted for some reason, so I have to do a voiceover. I was just going to delete, but let's just do the voiceover. So this change was not from one day to another pretty much i had been thinking about it for a long time but the pink had a really strong hold on me but i was just tired the fall's coming up i needed something new and i also hate the way that during christmas time like reds don't really look so good with my pink hair like i just thought it looked kind of odd so i'm just like you know what let's do the something different something for the fall it was just really hard to let go of my pink hair. I had a really strong attachment to it because I got my pink hair whenever I started my spiritual journey. And it really helped me with my self-confidence, my self-love. I think that I learned a lot about myself during my pink hair era. Like, it just really helped me with my self-confidence. And it was really hard to let it go because from that moment on, all I knew was pink. It was like my essence. It showed me who I really was as a person. Like, I learned a lot about myself throughout that time and I think that's why it was really hard to let go of it and I know it sounds kind of crazy but I feel like some of y'all will understand that y'all have that one hair color that's just gonna be for you and it's gonna be hard to let it go because you just identify your yourself with it so much and that was me with the pink hair but I felt like it was time for something new I went through a lot these past months so I feel like I needed something new something else also, I don't think I've ever talked about it here in this channel, but I am studying to be an elementary teacher. And honestly, they were not going to hire a bitch with pink hair. They just weren't going to. So it was time for a change as I am planning to start my career in the next year or so. Also, for a fact here, I know I'm talking about how real it is that my shirt is all stained because I feel like that's how it is when a girl dyes their hair at home. Like legit, we just make a mess. Well, I do. But I don't know if other girls do, but I know that I do. I was literally starting to get so nervous here because I could literally see myself in the mirror and I could see the pink lifting and I was literally about to cry. I had not seen myself with like a different color hair in a long time. So it was a really nerve wracking moment for me, but that's how it was looking. Um, it was starting to lift a little bit. So I had been bleaching my hair and dyeing it for a really long time. So I am using this pore equalizer to make my hair grab the color evenly. It's a pre-color treatment. You just spray it on your hair for it to grab evenly because I am doing a natural color. So I don't want it to look uneven from my roots. I want it to look as even as possible and natural as possible. So I feel like buying a pore equalizer, the pre-treatment is so worth it if you're going from a neon color to a natural color. So I hadn't realized that I was using all Ion products. This was not sponsored. I am using the Ion 3N dark brown color. And I'm putting it all over my hair, on my roots too. Because I want it to look as even as possible. I don't want it to look uneven. I do have a lot of hair. So I did buy two bottles of the color 
I used a 10 developer as well to mix it. There's literally no going back from here. I was so scared because <laughs> I was seeing my hair just not be pink anymore. And it was such a big change. I almost cried for real it was really hard but i still had all that left from the two bottles which isn't a lot but i put it all over my head so i am now gonna seal it with this color defense after color just for it to stay a little longer because i don't want to keep dyeing it i kind of want to see if it sticks on my head as long as possible but i'm gonna go rinse it off and when i come back i'm just gonna have dark hair and it's a little scary Ooh.